This is the real life story behind the tabloids. Let's talk about your marriage. It was an extremely oppressive existence. You were being watched in the house. There were security guards and cameras everywhere. So anywhere you went, you were being monitored. Everybody was afraid of him because he was so powerful at that time. When Mariah first met Eminem, she just escaped an unhappy marriage with a man who controlled every part of her life and her career. It was reported that she'd approached Eminem to collaborate on a new hip hop influenced album. Eminem, his reputation with women at that point was not the best. His music is confrontational and controversial, poking fun at gays, demeaning women. So what made her think to go for him? I'm a fan of hip hop music and I have been since I was a little kid. How about Eminem? I think he's talented, yes. But when he suddenly dissed her on his song Superman, tabloids everywhere rushed to figure out what had really happened between them. Mariah and Eminem were rumored to be dating. The Mariah thing, yeah, that's true. Those rumors are true and I'm not gonna deny them. But it seemed like Mariah saw their relationship differently. I'm a very friendly person, and especially when like, I feel like I can connect with somebody who's an artist. When I can tend to be, I guess, flirtatious, but I don't even know that I'm doing it. Sometimes it works against me because then the people get the wrong idea. We discovered that singer Dina Ray actually replaced Mariah on Superman, the song Eminem first dissed her on. Mariah was the original vocal on Superman. The song is explicit and suggestive, opening with female moans and giggles. So when she started to push back against Eminem, he turned on her at a time when she was already struggling to be taken seriously. Just months before she'd reached out to Eminem, it was reported that Mariah had suffered a physical and emotional breakdown after an erratic appearance on TRL. Um, what? <laughs> How are I you? I just thought I surprised you. Yeah, sure. I brought you a present. What are you doing? Oh my God. Mariah Carey is stripping on TRL right now. Watching that now, it's not even that bad. Yeah, but Mariah later revealed that after that TRL appearance, she was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. She was overworked and exhausted, but the media was treating her like she was crazy. People were kind of looking at Mariah saying, lady, you're a little crazy. People thought that Mariah Carey was absolutely done. Everybody goes through difficult times. Unfortunately, when people see it on tabloid covers and it's sensationalized when you're the, you know, the joke du jour on whatever talk show. While Mariah was trying to build herself back up, Eminem tried to tear her down. And I don't mean to, to put the down. She's a diva and I'm a little more uh, regular, I guess. After months of feuding, the New York Post reports that Eminem saved several long, gushy voicemails from Mariah Carey. The rapper is using the recordings in an attempt to demean and discredit her on his anger management tour. But Eminem had no idea that Mariah had already escaped someone way worse than him. Tommy Matola. Now, you met him when you were 18 years old, and then six years later, you were married, you were 24, and he was 44. He was like the top of the food chain. Nobody knew just how bad it really was. Tommy walked over and picked up the butter knife from the place setting in front of me. He pressed the flat side of it against my right cheek. He slowly dragged the thin, cool strip of metal down my burning face. I was searing with rage, his boys watched and didn't say a word. Why did he feel think, like he had to control you? It's a power play, obviously. As a woman in this industry of music, I'm just existing as an artist, but I can't do that fully because of this oppressive relationship. But after escaping Tommy, Mariah wasn't going to let another man control her. When Mariah released Obsessed, she turned Eminem's relentless harassment into a top 10 hit. What, what, what's the deal with uh, Eminem? He continuously references me, mm -hmm. and I don't know why. Right. So I wrote a song that's really an anthem for all like little girls who get like their ponytail pulled and get abused because the boy really is in love with them and they, they can't be with them. He's always bullying women, and she just happened to be the one that was like, not today. And when Mariah announced that she was writing a memoir, Eminem tried one more time to make it about himself. Eminem is reportedly stressed out that Mariah Carey might humiliate him in her new memoir. Eminem's Achilles heel has always been Mariah Carey. He knows that Mariah is going to say very negative things about him. He is expecting the onslaught and almost welcomes it. 
But when she was asked about it, Mariah replied that Eminem had nothing to worry about. If somebody or something didn't pertain to the actual meaning of Mariah Carey, then they aren't in the book. That's how Mariah won, because she didn't give Eminem the attention that he was waiting for. I'm very much a people pleaser, but I never had boundaries, I never knew how to say no. You have someone now who says no for you. Me. Now I learned I have to be the one who does it. She found her own happiness and self-worth by focusing on herself instead of giving anyone else the power to control her story.